this is the, the one press conference that I probably would love to skip. But for sure, I think uh, for, the, for the football fans, for the, for the football club, especially Mamalodi Sundowns, uh, and, and also because we are in that space where ours is to generate uh, conversations and, and, and um, lead in relation to what football is about in this country. I think it's important. So, so yeah. Um, yeah, exciting week, exciting preparations, and and we're looking forward to 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 playing against uh, a very good Orlando Pirates side. On the Champions League match, um, I was I was really very, and I say this because, and I always say to you guys, uh, before I share my feelings with the media and the public, I always share my feelings with my players. They need to know my feelings first before anyone else. And I can say to you that I was very, very impressed with the performance. I thought the application was very, very good. The, 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 some of the football that was played uh, made me very, very emotional, in fact. Uh, and I shared a story with the players, but I'm not going to share that with you. Um, but the the performance under the circumstances on an artificial pitch um, in that type of heat uh, against a very robust and very physical team with uh, with some very good players like uh, knowing that you have to deal with a striker like um, Valentin, for an example, or Eldinho in the midfield, who's creative and aggressive with the uh, with uh, the dribbles and the shots out of the box, it was a very difficult game and a difficult uh, match to to play as well as we played. But f fortunately, we had very good support from from the Tanzanian people, and 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 that gave us some very good confidence and motivation. Um, but my only disappointment is that we didn't score more. Um, the players know that I feel that we should have scored more, and and I only say that because we 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 created so many. I mean, there's a there's a chance I was speaking about even today, uh, if you remember. Yeah. Uh, where I, they 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 were inside the box, the players and. And they were just passing to each other, and I mean, I mean, four players could have taken the shot to score, and and each one said, no, 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 you shoot, no, no, you shoot, no, no, you shoot, and we overpassed, and and eventually the chance was gone. So, so that was my only disappointment. But very proud of this group of players, very proud of their mentality, and it leads me to how how do we prepare for these games. I don't have a lot of work to do, to tell you the truth, except to make sure that psychologically they understand the meaning of, of, of what it means to, to play the next fixture. And, and then rely on their experience, because uh, I am fortunate enough that I've got some very, very good human beings who have, happen to be very good football players and who happen to be very experienced in understanding how to tackle a, a difficult program. And, and the most important thing is to play well every single match, uh, but take it one game at a time. But that also means prepare well and, and train well and make sure that you give your best every single day at training. They, at Sundowns, unfortunately, you can't afford a day off, you know? so. Um, this is the mentality that the group uh, possesses and this is the mentality that the group uh, demonstrates and, and, and to be honest with you that has very little to do with me. Luckily we have a good coach who's always behind us, who's always backing us, you know, always um, push us and um, last season when we, we got knocked out uh, we fell down but I think um, <coughs> This season again, you have to keep on trying. I think the most important part is to keep on trying again, even even when you when you feel like you don't want to do it anymore. But just keep on going, and 
who knows, maybe someday the door will be open, the, the one we keep on knocking on. So I still feel our time is coming. Um, we just have to, to work hard, keep persevering, and um, yeah, we'll get there. Having Peter is a, is a blessing for us as a team, and um, it's like for, for every player, you know, every player is important in, uh, in our squad, and uh, we're very lucky to have him back, and uh, it just increases the options that we have up front. And um, you know him, you know, like uh, when every game that uh, he plays in and he tried to he tried to make sure that uh, he gets a goal. And that's, uh, that's what we want. Like uh, the coach was saying earlier that um, when we're in Tanzania, what he complained about was we were not ruthless enough up front. And I think uh, having one extra option up front will, uh, will increase our chances of being more ruthless up front. There's been big coaching improvement and you can see it with the team there's uh, there's uh, clarity in uh, some of the organizational forms that, that is supported by wh when you look at the the numbers and the form in relation to how they've started uh, they've played nine matches they've won six with two losses and and one draw They've scored 18 goals, uh, with uh, Zakele Lepasa scoring 10 of those, and and then of course moving into that space of of uh, being the first Pirates player to to score 10 goals as quickly as as he has, uh, and they've conceded six. But that's not just the data that's that's the most important because uh that's that's the data that 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 profiles their form what profiles their playing system is that they've averaged 60 percent ball possession which means as compared to last season uh, they keep more of the ball this season they do play faster uh, where they average about 20 seconds per, per possession spell uh, ours is a little bit more because we play a little bit uh, in moments and we have a different way of playing. Uh, they do create a lot of a lot of situations from crosses, like n averaging nine crosses per per match. They create about thirteen chances per match, and they've got an xG of one point seven per match. And so already you can profile and see where the team is from an offensive perspective. Um, so for sure, there's been big improvements and um, we, we know that we will be playing against a, a very, very good team where a lot of detail, uh, small details will, 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 make, will make the difference. First of all, I think he's in an unbelievable form, and uh, I think it's uh, it's good for the country. But uh, we we focus more on the team, you know. Um, we try we'll try to make sure that maybe we cut the supply to him, and uh, make sure that uh, we don't give him a chance. But uh, we focus mainly more on the team as a whole, not individuals. And having to be tested against a person that's really high on form, you know, it makes you like be on. Uh, very high concentration level and and you have to be on your toes all the time but um, I think uh, the whole team has to be on toes I mean it's a big game uh, the game of that magnitude uh, everyone wants to play that game and um, hopefully we win he spoke earlier about um, about uh, watching little details of every player so that's that's what we do when we do videos like he he underlines even some some of the things that we we don't pick up so i think it helps us a lot when when we go into the game and we we get to know more about the player because luckily he worked with him and uh, he he was telling us more a little bit more about him and we kind of have a picture of what we're up against and that will help us a lot this is football and football in its nature is an extremely unpredictable sport and and two, it's too early in the season. Uh, there's so many games to be played and against so many other teams and they are going to be even more difficult. So uh, we, go, we go to Orlando with the mentality of knowing for sure that 
it's a difficult game, but we know we've played even more difficult games. Like we've gone to Morocco and we've played difficult matches. We've gone to Algeria and played Belouistad and we've, we've had difficult games. We've gone to Cairo and we've played difficult games. We've gone to the same Orlando and we've played difficult games. And so we trust ourselves to be able to to be able to to put on a good performance, and that's the starting point. That is our focus. Is we know we have to play well to give ourselves a chance to to beat Orlando Pirates. But it's one of the 30 games that we are going to have to play uh, this season, and it, it 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 on its own has no. Sp- special uh, specialness to it except to say it's one of the 30 games that we are going to have to play. I think I just try to accept and understand that first before anything else the football players are human beings before before being athletes. I think that's always my starting point. We are different as coaches. There are coaches that love winning more than anything else. There are coaches that love press conferences more than anything else. There are play coaches that love scouting and recruiting players more than anything else. My passion for coaching is derived from working with players and seeing players improve. And uh, part to that is, is also establishing a very authentic and genuine emotional attachment where I try to be available for the players even beyond the football field. Uh, but at the same time, it's, it's, not, it's not so easy because I deal with different human beings and I deal with top football players who also all want to play and know that they are good enough to be playing. And, uh, but, but for sure, in 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 our relationships they they also trust and respect me and my position as the coach but they also understand that it goes beyond just player coach we've also got a brotherhood and a and a and a, and a family bond because for me it goes beyond coaching it goes beyond football we are, we are only football coaches or football players for two hours, three hours per, per day. For the rest of, of, of the 24 hours, we are, we are reintegrated into society. And then the biggest question is, what type of people are we in society? What type of influence do we have within society? And I try by, by all means to, to be the type of person that they would love to have as their coach but also to love to have as their friend even in many, many, many more years to come. And that's, the, that's my w- way of working. What is also very evident is that true and, and true and genuine friends are also not afraid to tell each other the truth. And they are also not afraid to tell each other things that they may not want to hear. And this is the basis of, of my relationship with, with the players. They know how, how honest we have to be with each other. But also the one, the one big benefit is, is how much I learn from them. I learn, I learn so much from the Sundowns players. They, they are human qualities. I've, I must tell you, I, I, every single day I look forward to coming to work because I look forward to 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 seeing a Musa, for an example, and I mean, I mean, I had a sh- small chat that is very private between Musa and I after the game in uh, Tanzania. Now, uh, after an incredible performance, and it had nothing to do with football, mm, but it's a chat that came because of an experience that has that happened maybe last season or a season before that. A season, two seasons, two seasons ago, that was very emotional for both of us. Uh, but but these are the things, you know. We try to establish these relations, and we try to be honest with each other. And and 
but but the biggest part is that I I learned so much. I learned because even from that discussion I had with Musa on 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 Friday, my biggest takeout was how important perseverance and, and, and bravery and character and not giving up, which is something that Musa demonstrated. Uh, these were the things that I learned and I took into, into, into my own space, into my own life so that my life gets better. So they make me a better coach, but more than that, they make me a better human being. For us, the most important part is to win the game, you know. We, we work very hard at training. We try to make sure that uh, every game that we play, we, we respect it and uh, we make sure that our supporters are happy. So we, we don't really, tr how do I put this? Um, yeah, like, uh, like I said, we, we, just, we just play every game. We just take it one game at a time, try to make sure that they are we get the maximum points if it's a league game and if it's a cup game, we make sure that we go to the next round. Um, and we, yeah, that's all, man. That's, that's all we do. I just happen to, to coach good human beings. I, I think that's the only way I can put it. I, think, I just think they are good human beings and they are, they are a pleasure to work with. Um, I am very demanding. Uh, I am... I am very relentless. I put a lot of pressure. I am very obsessive. Uh, but they deal with me, and and they deal with me because they are good people. And and I I can I can only answer your question by giving that uh, statement of saying I'm just privileged to be in a position where I work with very good human beings. Am I pleasantly surprised? No. Uh, because because there was a lot of work done behind the scenes from uh, the scouting department, the data department, uh, Ryan Hunt, Fleming Berg with the sporting director. There was a lot of work done there. There was a lot of work done in the office by uh, Yugesh Singh, who had to travel even to Brazil, and so the club made a very extensive efforts to 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 do that. Um, I spent a lot of time watching Lucas and I watched Lucas play in a, in a different position to what he is playing now. And, but I was very clear from day one when he arrived, even to the players, they will tell you, of some of the qualities that I had identified from Lucas that I felt that the team needed. And uh, and then there were also some areas that uh, he he has had to improve and work on to be able to fit within the model. What I can say to you is that he has worked very, very hard to gain the trust of his teammates because I get the feeling when he plays and, and a training and in, in around the, the premises and in the facility that the, his teammates trust him. And that thing is very, very important for a player arriving within the group. And, and, and it's because of the, the work and his humility and his personality as a good human being, because, because also above the fact that we try to recruit some of the best players, one of the other things is we try to recruit the best players who happen to have the human qualities that uh, we think are needed to work with us and to be in this organization. Uh, he, Lucas has qualities that you can't coach as a, a coach, you can't improve. They are there and, and, and they are there because they are God given. He is Brazilian and a lot of people, uh, a lot of people don't understand when I, when, I, when I say to people that there's a difference between skill and flair. And, and, and a lot of South American players have flair. And you see it sometimes with, with Lucas, you see flair, you see, and it's things that you see with Neymar, for an example, you've, you've seen with Robinho, for an example. Uh, and it's not skill, but it's flair. It's a, there's an element of elegance, uh, and, and he possesses that. And, um, but I also still think there's a lot of room for your improvement, uh, like with all the players at Sundowns. All the players at Sundowns know that we sit for corrections. We sit every day. We, I watch training. 
we sit here, we have corrections of training sessions, we have corrections of matches. Uh, we even correct small things like body language. Uh, uh, we, we, it's, it's crazy. But w that's the space we operate in. We are, we are, we are in that space, and and uh, I think I think I think there's still more t for 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 Lucas, just like I think there's still more from Lisibanku. A lot of people when we signed Lisiba said Lisiba is not Sundown's material, but Lisiba has gone on to show that he has the qualities, and 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 we've done extensive work also. Mendieta is improving and getting there, and 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 he will also come into that space. Uh, Obas is is a player that has incredible qualities, and I think, I think even qualities that have not even been tapped into, uh, qualities like driving with the ball, and and these and and and, and you look in, in 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 the modern game now in in the midfield, the the prototype of midfielders that that uh, at Jude Bellingham last night I was watching Real Madrid, Jude, Jude Bellingham and the role that he plays for Real Madrid. You watch Arsenal and you watch the role that, that Declan Rice plays for, 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 for Arsenal. Uh, the, the versatility and the aggression on the ball of a, t a player like Thomas Partey, for an example, a Kovacic and his ability to run and drive uh, in the midfield. And I think Obas has got these qualities. Uh, but it's qualities that he he's not even aware that he's got, and so there's still quite so many things that we 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 are trying to 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 teach and to improve and to help. So so you've got to be patient with these players. Uh, Maseko uh, is is some is the same. Maseko has qualities that you can never ever 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 take responsibility as a coach to say you helped him to have this. But for sure there are things for, from Maseko's game that that we would like to improve. And every single day we try to, 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 to come with clips from Arsenal and from Man City and from uh, what, what, Napoli. Uh, Brighton now is, is one of the things that we are so obsessed about in this team. And to try to show some of the players because, because that's, as, as I said, even to Karabo's uh, question, my job, and my my happiness de derives from seeing players improve. That's that's one thing that makes me very happy is seeing a player come from here to here. And I'll make a small example, and maybe because Musa is here on the day of the match, I w we were doing corrections with Musa, and I and 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 there was a situation against I'm not so sure. Oh, it was a friendly against Sikukune where I felt Musa could, could have blocked a shot. And, and I made reference to, to how David Luiz, uh, Ricardo Carvalho uh, defend in those type of situations. And, and in the game in, in Tanzania, there was a similar situation and then Musa blocked the shot the same way we had spoken about in, 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 in the morning. Uh, and I, I, I celebrated that moment m probably more than I celebrated some of the goals that we scored. Because for me, the, the, these are the things that make me happy. These are the, the, the things that, 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 that give me real, 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 real pleasure. And maybe it's because I was a youth coach and my background is that of a youth coach where I've coached a lot of players and I've seen them grow and develop and become better and better and better. And, and I think my happiness, uh, of course, I know that at Sundowns, in this space, we have to win trophies. Uh, but, but over and above that, when I see them improving, not only as football players, but also as human beings, that, that makes me very, very happy, Mashlatsi. We approach every single game, one game at a time. So, so, so for us, we are not even... In, I, I shouldn't I shouldn't say this because I'm 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 then I'm not really being 100% honest because I said to the players already that I've started watching Chiefs uh, I, I said to them this morning and I confessed to them because how, of how tight the schedule is so 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 because I feel some of the homework with Pirates seven games six seven games now is 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 done now is to move a little bit 
to that, but I can't shift my focus from that. I've got to go 100% with the players uh, into the next one. And so the next one is the most important one. It needs all our energies, all our focus, and everything that we have is galvanized towards Wednesday's game. And, 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 and there are no thoughts about what will happen on, uh, on, uh, on Saturday. But what it is, is that it is a very good test for us. This week is a very, very good test for us, where we anticipate that as we get on with the season, we will get into a space where we have to play semi-finals, quarter-finals, finals, finals uh, league title deciders in the same week, and, 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 and matches that are of consequence in, 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 in the business end of the season. And, and you've seen this with some of the biggest teams in, uh, in, in Europe. You've seen how a Man City has had to play a championship decider while also having to prepare for a semi-final against Real Madrid or, or preparing for the final against Inter Milan. This is the space that, that, that uh, the big teams with the big players and, and the top players have a challenge with, and it is a challenge that they accept. And uh, the harder it is, the better it is for us because then it, it makes us improve and become a better team. So, so we're looking forward to it and um, we know how difficult it's going to be, but I think we love it when it's that difficult. The most important part is um, being better than we were the previous day, you know. Um, every game that we play, like uh, going to, to, to the game now, uh, we need to play better than we played uh, the previous game. So he always tried to push us to, to our limits. And um, we appreciate that as players, it makes us better. And uh, I feel that if the question was about another opponent, I would go into so much detail in answering it. But it's so difficult for me to answer that question with us having to play Pirates. It's very, very difficult, and for for many reasons, you know. And one of those is the respect that I have for the football club and for the chairman, and uh, of course some of the players that I worked with, and uh, and the love that I get from some of the pirate supporters still. Um, but also, I don't want to talk too much about that because. I've also got a responsibility as a Sundowns coach to show respect to this incredible football club, to show respect to uh, our unbelievable uh, supporters that come in numbers and sing and beat the drum and and uh, support the, this magnificent group of players. So, so uh, what we will do is uh, pitch. And I think that's that's as far as I can go in answering the question. Is you, you, the, the intangible is that we will pitch, we, we will show up.